They also believed that their immediate responsibility would be to protect against what they called the counter-revolution. And uh, they felt that this counter-revolution could best be guarded against by creating and establishing re-education centers in the Southwest, uh, where we would take all the people who needed to be re-educated into the new way of thinking and teach them how things were going to be. I ask, well, what is going to happen to those people that we can't re-educate, that are die-hard cap capitalists? And the reply was that they'd have to be eliminated. Okay, and stop. There you go. There you go. They're going to have to set up a re-education camp. I contend that is the University of California, Berkeley. That's a re-education camp, gang. You're going there, you're sending your kid there, and they are telling them there are ideas they must not think. Who puts their kid in a college that, where they say, you must not think these things? I want to go to a college that challenges my children, pushes their buttons, makes sure they know what they, what they really believe and what they, what they stand for. Say the most outrageous thing to get them to think. They're telling them you shall not think. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. Nobody with, with good intent does that. I don't, go, I don't want my kids going to a church. I won't go to a church that says, you won't think these things. You won't read these things. You won't talk about these things. No, no, no. Nobody says that to me. I read what I want. If I want to read something that is, is challenging to my faith, I will read that. Because I'm smart enough to figure it out. They're telling your children not to think that ideas are dangerous. Ideas change the world. That ideas of merit are dangerous. Merit changes the world. Merit is the reason we have stopped disease. Merit is the reason we feed as many millions of people as we feed. Because of merit, somebody did something. Somebody said, I can fix that. And they did. So what happens? First, you have the re-education camp. There are those that will not go. The re-education camp teaches you how to think. They must ban certain thoughts. Once that ban doesn't go far enough, then they have to ban the thoughts and the books that those thoughts are contained in. Those thoughts, those books that further that thought. They must discredit those authors, must discredit anybody who stands up for that, who has a different point of view. Shout them down. Shout them down. Beat them in the streets. Call them racists. Call them haters. Do whatever you have to do, but get them to shut up. If you can't scare them into silence, you beat them into silence. And if you can't beat them into silence, you just kill a few of them and everybody else shuts up. That's the way it works. That's the way it has worked every time in human history. What, we're unique somehow or another? It doesn't end this way somehow or another. Tell me what makes us different than the Nazis when they banned thoughts. Tell me the difference. When you have comedians who have always gone to the universities. Why? Because they're open-minded. That's where you go and you try new thoughts, new, new things. You try it on the youth. These, the youth today are being taught Close your mind. Shut your mind down. Don't think different things. Think exactly what we tell you. When comedians will no longer go to college campuses because they're sheep, because they're foolish, because they're politically correct, you've lost. You don't have revolutionaries. You have lemmings. You have useful idiots. When will our children wake up? When will our college students wake up? They're telling you to ban ideas.
If you would have learned anything in history, you would have known that is the act of a fascist dictator. I'm called a fascist. I say read anything. More importantly, read what they tell you not to read.